In this tutorial, we will cover installing your app for the first time on your tablet, then logging into the Optmetric system, and how to access basic features, including starting and ending your workday. The second tutorial video will cover how to complete a store visit, and then complete in-store tasks. Prior to starting, you will need three pieces of information. The server name, this is your company's unique server name, your username, which is your login name, and your password, which is your password for your login. You will also need your tablet, which is set up and ready to go, including a Wi-Fi connection, and access to the app download store for whichever device that you use. If you don't have this information, you need to contact the person at your head office, who is your Optmetrics administrator, and is responsible for setting up these details. For today's tutorial, I am using an Apple iPad, however the steps are similar for Android and Windows. So let's install the app via the App Store. We're going to head over to the App Store application and tap to open it up. Select the Search option and then type the word Opmetrics to locate the Opmetrics app. Download and install the Opmetrics app. That's the black icon with the green logo. Once the app is downloaded, press the Home button on the device to return to your Apps menu and locate the Opmetrics app that you just downloaded. Start the app by tapping on it. The first time it opens, you will be prompted with some system questions, so select Allow or OK whenever these appear. Now complete the login with the credentials that you've been provided. That is, your server name, your username, and your password. Tap Login, and the system will load up and synchronize. Again, you may be asked for a system access question, so select OK or Allow. The first login can take a little longer, whilst it downloads all data and documents that you may need. Once the synchronization is finished, you're ready to go. So let's have a look at Optmetric Basics. You are now on the home menu in Optmetrics. On the screen, you will see the top green menu bar. The first option is the sync button, which sends and receives information between your app and head office. We recommend doing a sync before you head out each morning and last thing at the end of the day, to ensure all information is processed and up to date. It's a quick process, and if I tap it now, you will see the sync indicator, and it will complete and update quickly. Next to that is your logged in username. Beside that is the search field, where you enter a customer name, postcode, or part of an address to locate a customer in your list. For this example, I'm going to tap search and I'm going to enter a postcode 6112 and you'll see it quickly finds that customer or customers that are in that area. There is also a help button with online articles and training tips. Then an options button where you can personalize settings. There is one important setting to enable, so let's tap the options button and bring up that menu. Enable the Auto Sync option. This means the Optmetrics app will auto sync and update whenever it's needed. We still recommend hitting the Sync button at the start and end of each day as well. If you are left handed, you could also try switching to left hand mode to see if that's more comfortable for you. We always tap Done or use the little cross in the top right corner to close a screen. The alerts icon will light up if there are any messages from a head office with notes added regarding stores you visit. The left menu. The left menu enables you to switch to different menus. For example, I can tap documents and access any documents that have been uploaded from head office. The document tabs are like folders, so if you want to look up Land Rover documents, I can just tap that tab. I can then tap the document to open it.
and I can select done when I'm finished. Let's return to the home menu by tapping home. Call cycles. Opmetrics always defaults to showing the list of stores that you need to complete today. I can tap on the calendar dates to see what visits I need to make tomorrow and the next day. For now, I will return back to today by tapping on today's date. Each outlet in the list displays the name, address, and includes other details such as the next scheduled date for a visit and the last time the store was visited and by whom. The distance indicator on the right shows how far away in kilometers I am from the store. For this tutorial, obviously I'm a long way from the store, but I'm sure you get the idea. I can select a store by tapping on it and tap details to get more information. The store's location is shown on the map and if I needed directions, I could tap on the map and get turn by turn directions. I will close the store details by tapping done or as mentioned before, I can use the little cross in the top right corner. Starting your workday. Before I can visit a store, I need to switch to being on duty. You would do this when you start work for the day as it records your start day time. Tap the not on duty switch to open the workday pop-up. You will see a map with your current location on it. Now tap the green start of day button and it displays the current time. You can override that and set that start time manually if you need to change it from the current time. I will select done and we are ready to go. The on duty switch is now green and active. You will repeat this process at the end of the day when you finish. You would tap on duty and this time you would select the green end button to record the time you finish. Of course you wouldn't do that until the end of the day. I won't set it and instead I'll just select done so that we stay on duty and we're ready to complete our first store visit. That is the end of this video. In the next tutorial we will cover the basics of doing a store visit and completing in-store tasks.